Welcome to Make My Newspaper in our tutorial series. This is part one regarding our cloud newspaper designer and let's jump right in and get started by launching the designer from our homepage. Today we're going to talk about choosing the right size of newspaper to design and a bit later some discussion on English versus metric elements. The first thing you should know about our designer is that no matter what size of newspaper you want to design, the margins around the outside of your newspaper have already been defaulted. You can see it here in the grayed out areas around the edges. This is nice because you can't make a mistake in your design and put things in areas that can't be printed. It allows you to use the entire white space, or as we call it, the canvas area, for you to design in. Now to choose what size of newspaper you want to design, you need to go to the document settings seen here on the left side. Go ahead and click it and you'll see the menu up at the top change to those settings. On the very top left, you'll see a choice for inches or millimeters and with inches set, you'll see the rulers here on top and left are in inches. If you change this to metric, the rulers will change to metric as well, but let's ignore the metric talk for the moment and get to the second menu portion where you can choose the right size newspaper for your needs. We offer 11 inch by 14 inch, which is by far the favorite size, and 11 by 17, a large tabloid size. You'll notice that we offer 11 by 12, but keep in mind that this is a very small newspaper, and if you print this, it's exactly the same price as the 11 by 14. So most people go ahead and stay with the 11 by 14. When you choose a size, the rulers and canvas area will change to correspond to the size you've chosen. Now let's talk just a moment on metric sizes and elements. The most important point to remember is this. If you are not printing an actual newspaper, it doesn't matter whether you use metric or English rulers and sizes. Only if you are planning on printing a newspaper does this matter. If you want to print a newspaper from America, use English measures and sizes. If you are planning on printing metric sized newspapers, then you must go to our UK storefront. If you choose a metric size and you are on our American storefront, you'll see a message show up right here. This will tell you to go to our UK storefront if you want to print a metric size paper. Vice versa if you happen to already be in our UK storefront. Keep this in mind if you are planning to print newspapers, but if you are using the designer for just design work, or just for sharing, or collaboration, or publishing PDFs, or e-newspapers, it doesn't matter whether your newspaper is done in English or metric sizes. Only if you print actual newspapers does it matter. This concludes part one of our designer tutorial series. And as needed, please look at other tutorials on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to be notified of new tutorials that will come out in the future. Happy designing, everyone.